All right, in this video, I want to show how I can take the graphics that is created from any program that we have in the control, whether it be conversational or G-code. We can save that graphics file out as an STL file that we can then re-import for secondary operations and things. Here I have a program where I'm just going to create a part out of a block of steel, um, very much like we would do in the first operation of a of a project and in the bottom right corner of the graphics screen we have a settings button. We click on settings that opens up a window that has a lot of different things that we can do and one of them is solid simulation you see save. We're going to hit the save button. We're going to determine where we're going to put this. We're going to rename it something. First of all we're going to save it as an STL file then we're going to name it op, op 1. Select where we want to put it and then hit save. Now that saved that solid model out onto my desktop. Now I'm going to create a new program, new conversational. I'm going to go to my stock geometry tab, so part setup, more, stock geometry. Under stock type, I'm going to select STL file. I'm not going to use the program name because this particular file has a different name than the actual program name, so I'm going to select no. And when I do that, it gives me a browse button here. So I'll go over and select the select STL file soft key. It allows me to go out and find it. So I would get it on a thumb drive, get it from my desktop, wherever it is, highlight that file, and load it. Now you can see that I have an STL file that I'm using for my stock, and I still have the same reference position, so I can move that around if I wanted, if my zero point was different than where it is on the, on the actual solid. So I'm going to go back to my graphics screen. I'm going to redraw. Of course, I don't have any blocks, so it gives me an error. But you can see, now we've brought in that solid model, the STL file, as our stock geometry, and that's from Operation 1. What I would probably do is save that out, bring it into a CAM system to flip it over, and then re-import it so I can have uh, my secondary operations. We hope to, in the control, be able to do that at some point in the near future, but for now this is still a really good way to bring in STL files for stock for secondary operations, uh, castings, forgings, and things like that. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, thank you for your time.